What's the death roll? Okay, we call it the death roll. A death roll is X number of losing roll of the dice in a row, okay, in a 50-50 system. But what if your system's not 50-50? Right. What if you build in inherent edge and it's not 50, 50, et cetera, you go on and on about it. So if these represent some trades and if you have studied your system and you can look to see, well, what are the odds of having eight losers in a row? So this is where what you want to do is run the back test, optimize, walk forward and stuff that you learn in my program to understand that if you were doing, if you're running through your system and you're looking for where you look, look for your max drawdown and it's going to come somewhere in a series of losers, right? So if all of these, this was your biggest loss and let's say that you ran back an entire year, okay? One year and the, the maximum number of trades you saw lost in a row, uh, this was an eight scenario, okay? Well, that's one year. Well, you need to go back three, four, five years, find out, well, what's the absolute max? And that, that's, I don't know, like, let's say that there was a nine somewhere in there. System loses nine in a row. Now, mind you, if you're just 50 50 ing it, that like most of the time when people are talking about it, they're talking about a flip of a coin or a spin uh, completely by chance, like doing a Russian roulette table. Not really, did I say Russian roulette? That's uh, I'm pretty sure it's involved with a gun. Uh, not not Russian roulette, just the, ru the roulette wheel at Vegas, completely random, uh, red, black, but it's not 50 50, right? Why? Because in Vegas, they also put two blanks in there and anytime the blanks are hit the house wins okay so it's not 50 50 it's slightly off so the the house is always tilting things slightly in their favor so even if that gives them a two percent um, edge they are living off of that two percent edge and counting on the fact that people are drunk and not trying to do mathematics while they're there at vegas or there to have a good time but you need to understand your system to know well what is the, what is the maximum number of drawdowns now mind you this is also this would be if it was, I'll tell you, like most of the time in, in our systems, why I found maximum number of losers in a row ever is is usually eight. And so the percentage chance of us losing eight in a row is like, there's a there's like a 1.7% chance that you lose eight. Nine, it's like 0 0.08. Um, through evaluations in the past, you know, not of Enigma, I haven't run, I haven't no, run enough series of tests on that, right? I have to do that. Um, that's what we're doing here right now in a valuation phase. I'm kind of teaching simultaneously while I'm trying to do this out here via live stream. But let's say that you know Target. your roll of the dice is, worst case scenario is eight. And let's say that you know that you're gonna blow out your account if you were to lose 10 in a row, okay? Well, are you okay then with an eight? Well, you know, the easy answer is, well, yes. However, that's an account blowout. What about the amount of money? How many times did you not get this before you hit the death roll? And how much have you collected, right? Your account can grow prior to the death roll, right? Now, how to avoid the death roll? There's, uh, I've talked about cadence. So easy ways to avoid a death roll. You can, what if you could eliminate the first three of these? What if you made it to a scenario where, okay, well now max losers in a row was five. How would you do that? This comes to, you, know, you guys have watched my cadence videos. You would, you would know and understand, well, there's a, there's a simplified way to do that. If you literally just waited until a system lost three in a row. Right. Yeah. And like what Roger said, so how he said SIM, right? You SIM these first three and then you start here and you go live. Make sense? So now you've avoided your death roll and then you can let the system roll.